that shows y'all. I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the time is. Mm-hmm. Greetings, y'all. This is Ifa Shia Eglon Jovi of WildWomenDoAsThePlease.com. Y'all are fast. <laughs> I'm a oracle reader and guide who uh, offers short-term assistance to women in the areas <laughs> in the areas of freedom, self-love, and um, problem solving, you know, in everyday things. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so y'all, I came on here to do this because um, somebody asked me about my Oracle reading class that I'm offering. So she said, oh crap, hold on, it just turned off. <laughs> hey, hello, hello, darling. Hold on, y'all, it just turned off. My Kindle got an attitude. Okay, so she wanted to know, um, that she, she said she doesn't understand tarot. What energy am I tapping into? What being speaks through the cards? And she asked me, don't I want to do a periscope about it? So, of course, I want to do a periscope about it. I want to do a periscope about anything. Well, I ain't going to say anything. Most of the stuff within reason that y'all want me to do a periscope about. So, let me say this first. With tarot, I don't have my lips on, y'all. Mm. So, tarot um, is a very traditional way of doing things. So, with tarot decks, they are always the same. I do not have it out, though. That's why I couldn't post that um, Instagram video because it was like straight boobage. So, um, y'all see? Go in the back. Um, tarot is a traditional... Um, kind of the same across the board type of card deck. So with a tarot deck, anytime you open up a tarot deck, once you've learned tarot, you can read any tarot deck. They're always exactly the same. Now the illustrations will be different. They might give you a very slightly different spin on um, on what your, you know, what the meanings are. But for the most part, a tarot deck is a tarot deck. I'm in really bad lighting right now. But um, a tarot deck is a tarot deck. Um, but with thank you for inviting followers. Um, so what I offer actually is oracle reading because there are plenty tarot reading classes already. Like you can, I mean, you can look that up and there are a plethora of classes um, from two hours to shit, two years and certifications and all that kind of stuff. So I felt like that was, you know, if, if that's something that you want, you know, I could, I'm sure I could find somebody to help you learn tarot. Um, but what I'm offering is Oracle. So the thing that I like, that I like about Oracle is that with Oracle cards, they're always so different. Um, thank you for the hearts. With Oracle cards, they're always so different. You open up a pack of Oracle cards and thank you for inviting followers. You open up a deck of Oracle cards and they're always like, um, different pictures but they also all have a different vibe i don't know why i didn't have any of my decks right here but i'm gonna go grab a couple of decks y'all just stare at the dog psychic it says tarot but it's the oracle deck so you see how it says psychic tarot and then underneath it says oracle deck oracle deck this deck has nothing in common with um tarot you have chakra cards a lot of need um you have emotional withdrawal a kai sign you have um they also have colors oh my god I'm going to call her back. Can she let me? You also have different colors according to, um, you know, with different meanings. You have the numbers. You have all that. Can you get out my face, though? We don't do that. So, that's how that one is. Stop. That's Mari's ringtone. I gave her a little, you know, little fancy ringtone. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. This is my child. Um, ma'am, I'm trying to do a periscope right now. You think that maybe 
Yeah, it's not the same. Hold on. Um, you think maybe you can let me finish that and I'll call you back. Um, so yeah, tarot is completely different. So like this is the past life. This is also an oracle deck. So like you have things, this is focused towards past life things. So you got Celtic, you got baby, you have spirituality and religion. I love this deck too, man. You know this our deck. Father, so you can have daddy issues come up. You can have scribe or writer. So that one deals specifically with past life. Then you have money and law, money and the law of attraction cards. Right, even Omi had to get it. These, I love these cards. With these, I generally get people to pick a number. It's between 1 and 60. And I think I have some cards still floating over there. Um, And, of course, no, these are not all my decks. But these are the ones I could grab quickly. Yes, each one serves a different function. And that's why, like with the class, that's why you will have time in a class setting online, but you will also have time with me individually because you might, you have individual questions. You might not all have the same deck, which most likely you won't. Um, these are the black angel cards, which I love. Um, so yes, they all have different meanings and purposes and it involves a lot more intuition in my very humble opinion than, um, the tarot because of the simple fact that you can't just open these and say oh okay I know exactly what this means I know exactly what that means that's not the way this works that's not the way any of this works this is the goddess oracle so you see how different these look this one is all about the yeah the, this is all about the um the different goddesses from all kinds of cultures. This is my favorite, selfhood. Um, they have the different goddesses from all kinds of, and of course we got Kali. Um, the fates. Um, yes, Puebe. So you have all these, oh, we can't, we can't go past Lilith. So you have all these different goddesses and they all come with a different message. And so they're all very, very, very different. And that's the importance of knowing how to read Oracle. I'm not going to say over learning how to read Tarot, but you just see how different they are. This is the Earth Magic deck. So you got waterfalls and autumn equinox and a lake and tsunami, which is a wake-up call. And I always think about you for some reason when I see this card, a tsunami card, a wake-up call. Um, crystals, DNA, clouds, rainbows. You see how different? Okay, so anytime you open these decks, now I'm going to say for me, Oracle decks are easier. Um, <laughs> what deck was that? That's the earth, That was the Earth Magic. It would. It would. That was the Earth Magic deck, um, Tamu. This one is the Life Purpose Oracle. You're welcome. And I love this one, too. So let me hold it a little bit closer. So take, um, talk to your angel. Y'all, I'm reading. It's backwards on the screen for me. Tamo, this reminds me of you, of course, with your symbology. Spiritual teacher. Let's see what's in here. This one's telling you to go back to school for something. And then Oracle cards. Let's see. You are able to discern... <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one. Um, you're able to discern answers and guidance um, for yourself and others. So it's an oracle card and an oracle card deck. Um, speaker, protector. So this is telling. This deck is specifically for what is your life purpose. It could be at this time. It could be um now forevermore it depends on what your intention is it depends on what spread you're doing also in the class we'll be learning how to create our own spreads so let's say that you look all over the place and you cannot find a spread that serves your purpose we will figure out the best way for you to um i know i like it we'll figure out the best way for you to create out spreads of your own you stepped on my foot um <laughs> 
What are your questions? You can ask me more questions. Um, and you'll also find that certain once you start reading for your well, reading for clients and for yourself, you'll find that certain oracle decks are for certain things, certain times, certain seasons. So not even the ones that are specifically um, like the life purpose deck or past life deck. Those, you know, they have been made with a particular purpose in mind. But you'll also find that there are certain people that, like there's um, a particular client that I read for. Every time I, like even attempt to use something else, she always needs the um, Earth Magic deck. So another question um, that the sister asked on um, Instagram was, "What spirit, like, is is um, being used or called upon?" The person. I'm a big believer that your intuition is just as strong as my intuition. You cannot sound <laughs> stupid on Periscope. Um, it, I, you can totally like message me privately if you want to. Don't message me though on Twitter because I have not figured that shit out. But if you message me on Facebook, I will totally, um, yeah, we can totally do a one-on-one. -on -one. But other people might have the same questions. Um, but my goal when I'm reading for somebody is to, hey, my goal is to tap into that person that I'm reading for. Um, we always ask for the support of our ancestors and things like that on our side. Like as a reader, we want the support of our ancestors and our spirit guides and things like that, the support, but I'm tapping into the person. Um, what else? Cause now my darn Kendall done died. Um, and I told y'all the difference between, oh no, I didn't. I told y'all the difference between tarot and, um, and Oracle reading. And let me think what else. I can't remember the other questions, but anyway, um, oh, here we go. I found it. What being speaks through the cards? That person's own intuition. Hello. That person's own intuition is what speaks through the cards. Um, because really at the end of the day, in my opinion, your higher self knows what it is that you need. Your higher self already knows the answers, but sometimes we're resistant to it, which is why I don't really, um, like to overread for people, meaning you don't have to call me every day for a reading. You don't have to call me every week. I say tops once a month. Can you stop? Shh. Hey, hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Get out with the bone. I'm going to close the door on you. Um, you know what? Bye. Sorry, y'all. When you have four-legged children. Um. <laughs> oh, you mean shut in the oh, show? Hold on. Now, the interesting thing about Osho, which Anne is the one um, that introduced me to the Osho deck, and I'm forever grateful. Now, they do refer to these as a tarot deck. Technically, if you stick to the technical um, technical definition of tarot, they are not a traditional tarot deck because they have an extra card and because they don't like hardcore follow the tarot deck. But honestly, that's what I love about them because you get as many cards as you have in a tarot deck, but... You well, you get an extra card, but you have as many cards as you have in the tarot deck. But these to me are really easy to read. The symbology is really easy. Um, it's to the point, and you can still break them out. This is the back, which I think is pretty. Um, but you can still break them out like a regular tarot deck. Oops, maybe that was for somebody sharing. I don't know, it just jumped out. And the thing that I really like about the Osho deck, too, is that the art is so different, but it's done by the same artist. So let me show y'all the different art on the cards. So you have participation. You missing one card? You have intensity. So see how different they are, but they're all done by the same artist. So 
So it's a beautiful day. Oh. See, even with this one. Breakthrough. Um, yeah, Tasha sniffs my car sometimes, but I guess she can tell the impending violence that might ensue if she bothers my cars. Um, so yeah, this is, all of these are from the Osho deck. And they do have numbers, they do have, um, color codes. Um, uh-oh, oh, I could show them. I ain't gonna keep, you keep making me think of other decks I wanna show, but, um, they do have color codes. They do have um, numbers. Um, they do have a major arcana and all that kind of stuff. But it's just not set up like a traditional deck. Um, so, who was that that had questions? Did I miss them while I was running after the dog? I don't know. But if you still have questions, um, you can ask them here or you can private. Um, you can inbox me on Facebook. Please do not inbox me here because I don't even know how to work Twitter. The only reason I have a Twitter is because of Periscope for the most part. Because other than that, I don't know what the hell to do with Twitter. Um, but And if there's ever anything y'all want me to Periscope about, let me know. I know I'm going to come back and do a Periscope later on today about loyalty because it keeps coming up. And I think that's a discussion that we need to have, especially as... Black women in particular, but black people, period. Okay. You and the rest of your... Did I get all of them? Let me see. I think I got all of them, but let me know if you have any more questions, for real, for real. Now, I do know how to get the stuff on Instagram. <laughs> I don't know how to private message you back on Instagram, but I do know how to get to it. Um... But yeah, let me know if you have any more questions because the questions literally give me an outside view of what people might want to know because I don't know what y'all want to know. So I never mind questions ever, ever, ever. You can ask me a million questions. Plus, because I'm a student first, teacher second, I like questions because if I don't know the answer, I will find them. You are welcome. And thank you for asking the questions. Thank you for not being scared of me. I know I have a big mouth and some people can be so... I will be back later on today. Um, I will have my lips on later on today when I do my next Periscope about loyalty. Um, because this is not the business up here with no lips on. What does that mean? So anyway, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Um, I have the flyer for the class on Instagram and on Facebook. So please feel free to sign up. Ask questions. Ask questions, then sign up. Sign up, then ask questions. However you want to do it. So anyway... I love y'all. Let's see if I can get this to turn off.